Good day, friends. My name is Paolo de Alba, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. For today's gospel, we read from Luke chapter 12, verses 13 to 21. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. Jesus replied, Man, who appointed me a judge or an arbiter between you? Then he said to him, Watch out. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in, a, in an abundance of possessions. And he told them this parable. The ground of a certain rich man yielded an abundant of harvest. He thought to himself, what shall I do? I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, this is what I'll do. I will tear down my barn and build bigger ones. And there I will store my surplus grain. And I'll say to myself, you have plenty of grain laid up for many years. Take life easy, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your life will be demanded from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? This is how it will be with whoever stores up things for themselves, but not rich towards God. Are you rich towards God or are you a fool? Many times in our life, we become fools for something because we're searching for joy and happiness. We're searching for what will make us happy. I remember when I was younger, uh, what made me happy was toys. And because toys made me happy, I would do anything just to get more of them. And since I was young, I was just getting allowance from my dad. And because that allowance is not enough to, for me to buy toys, it's just enough for me to buy food in school, I would steal from my dad <laughs> just to buy toys. But that didn't make me happy. In fact, it made me guilty. It made me sin. And it didn't, it didn't satisfy. It, I was happy for a while, but then it made me guilty, feel guilty in my life. There's so much guilt. And then I grew up. I started working, earning my own money. I was 16 when I, was, I got my first job. And I started earning money. And I remember I was living from paycheck to paycheck because... I say that because anytime I get my salary, I would spend it on anything or anything that I want just to make me happy. Still, it wasn't enough. I, I learned, I, I learned how to save it later on. Then I got married, had children. I said, I, I don't think I have I, I will be greedy this time because I don't even think of myself anymore. I just think of my children. But then as I grew older and got married and have children, you worry about so many things in this world, the bills you have to pay. You, you start thinking of how can, how, how can I earn more money just to buy things for my children, give things what they want. And I like what the passage say, said that be careful of all kinds of greed. So there are different kinds of greed in our life. And for me, greed stems from selfishness, thinking inward, thinking of yourself alone. And he also said that we are in search of happiness and we just want to be happy in life. But if you're only searching for happiness in this life, it will not be enough. We need to start thinking of eternity, the true joy that can give you peace. And how can we guard against greed? How can we experience that true joy that the Lord has given us or that the Lord has for us? and not be consumed by greed, by the worries of this world, by our selfishness. I'd like to start with the word generosity. Being generous helps you get rid of greed, greed in your life. And I remember the, the happiest people I know are the most generous ones. And they're generous not because they're rich. They're generous even in their lack. Just like the story of the woman who gave her last two coins, the Lord pointed her out that in her, the least that she has, she was able to give. I remember at, uh, going into an immersion in the farmer's house. I brought canned goods. And for farmers here in the Philippines, canned goods are special for them because as farmers, they live off the land. And canned goods are actually special for them. It's, they use it in special occasions. And to my surprise, when I woke up in the morning, they served me the canned goods. That's how generous they are 
I gave it to them as a gift. They served it to me for breakfast. And just recently, I was talking to a pastor, and the pastor told me that they serve in a community somewhere in the province and in the mountains, and how the community or the tribe actually lives as a true community in the Bible. They, they share everything. If someone has a birthday, some of the neighbors will bring in different kinds of animals for them to slaughter so they can have food to feed everybody that will come because everybody will come. Everybody's invited in the tribe. When somebody dies, people will contribute. And for some reason, in their lack, they have money. Also, in abundance of harvest, if they cannot sell it anymore, they will just leave it on the streets so that anyone who would need it can just pick it, pick it up so it will not go to waste. So they're living in common. They're concerned for everybody. So they, they want to make use of what they have. So they're the happiest people I know. So to get rid of greed or to guard yourself from greed, be generous or ask for the grace to be generous. Next is intercede. Intercede for other people. And as you intercede for other people, you get to realize their need. And allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you. Maybe it's not just intercession that you can do for them. There are other things you can do for them as you intercede. Be generous with your time, talent, and treasure. And next is focus on heaven. Focus on eternity. Don't just focus on this world. Because if you're focused on just this world, you tend to look inward. You tend to be selfish and forget the commands of the Lord to love him above all and to love your neighbor. And lastly, be thankful. Be thankful for everything that you have. Be thankful that the Lord has blessed you and that you may bless others. One of my, my favorite lines from my father-in-law and my mother-in-law is that, be thankful that people are asking you for you for help, that you are able to help them as well. Be thankful for that. So. First is ask for the grace to be generous, intercede for others, focus on eternity, and thankfulness. And hopefully, the Lord will make you the gift for others to get rid of greed in this world. Have a blessed week ahead, and God bless you.